اجتماعات حسب الأصول بفخامة رئيس الجمهورية نجيب مياتي announces his candidacy for Lebanon's prime minister. The wealthy businessman and MP from Tripoli bills himself as a consensus candidate for a divided government. Former Prime Minister Mi'ati, in this critical period in Lebanon, is a good face for the country. He is a respected Sunni personality, politically in the middle, who is known for not taking sides. But the March 14th coalition backs Saad Hariri to remain the country's Prime Minister. Hariri's refusal to negotiate on the UN Special Tribunal for Lebanon into the death of his father, former Prime Minister Rafi Hariri, led to the opposition pulling out of the cabinet and collapsing the government. Lebanese leaders have been meeting at the presidential palace to discuss the selection of a prime minister. Now that Miati appears to be the leading candidate for the position with enough votes in parliament, Hariri's March 14th coalition has to form a strategy for working with a new government. Miati is reaching out to Hariri to join a new government. But Hariri is refusing because he believes he has the majority of the Sunni community and because Mi'ati's first act will put out the Lebanese judges in the UN tribunal and stop the funding of it. Lebanon is set to have a new prime minister with a parliamentary vote almost certain to go with MP Najib Mekate. But with March 14th sticking with Saad Hariri as its candidate for the premiership, Hariri may have to decide if he wants to join the new government or stand in its path. Andrew Bisson in Beirut, Nile International.